All right, time to beat the shit out of every single motherfucker. Don't worry, I'll limit myself to how much I can record. Uh, probably do two more ranks. League battles, or probably three. I don't know. I just want to save the tournament and whatever else for, like, later. For tomorrow, probably. And I'll actually get sleep tonight, so I can fucking, you know, wake up early in the morning and fucking do this. And yes, I'll do more Ninjala, I'll do more Pikuniku, and I'll do more Animal Crossing. This is the same Let's Play as I'm doing right now. I do want to add something new, but I can't, because I already have, like... Five to six Let's Plays I need to fucking continue. And if I add something new, it'll just fe feel rushed. And I don't want any of these projects to feel rushed. I want them to feel good. Like, I feel like Mega Man was rushed, and... I think that's what's gonna be the problem of how to get people into Mega Man 1, because I felt like that Let's Play was fucking rushed. And I feel like no one fucking gives a shit about it. Even though I fucking tried, dude. You know how hard it is to play Mega Man 1? I was lucky to get the yellow double, to be honest. And I keep complaining about it, but I was lucky. There is no fucking way I'm going to be able to make it to Wily. And that's what most of you guys got to understand about this channel. My channel is nothing like Chugga Conroy's or Markiplier's or anything else. I play the games to have fun. And to show people that there's something more than fucking Call of Duty or Fortnite or anything else. Because, yes, most people play just shooting games in League of Legends. I'm trying to introduce those people, or mobile games, to some other fucking genres, you know? And just get a little bit of my personality. Because I believe if a YouTuber shows their personality, you kind of really get the feel how the person is. And yes, I get it. I'm not that smart. I'm fucking stupid. I understand that. This is my second attempt on a fucking YouTube channel. My first was successful, but I gotta go back to where I was. And trust me, I'll play some of the older games. Uh, I need, still need to figure out how the fuck to link uh, videos. I kept made my fucking likes playlist fucking public, but then it's like, nah, fam, we're keeping it fucking private as shit. Hell yeah. Like, I get it. For the fucking... Whatever, but what if I want to show my pe my people, like, how to find all the fucking Pokemon in the Pokedex? How to get all the Star Coins in Mario Bros? How the fuck am I supposed to do that? It's just like guides for me. I want to show people what the fuck to do for certain fucking games. But I know I can't do everything. That's why, like, I don't try to 100% a game. I play a game because I want to enjoy it. I want to show people, I want to talk about it, and I want people to see if they want to try it out for themselves. Or just watch a stupid idiot play it. Who knows? That's the whole point about this fucking channel. It's not the fucking 100%. It literally, the whole point is not to 100%. There might come a time when, if I can 100%, I'll fucking do it. But if I can't do it, then I can't do it, okay? I know my own fucking limits. I just want to show a game because I think it will be really cool and really fun to watch. And yes, I understand. I'm fucking silent as shit. That's my fault. And if you're new and you have, and you're, this is your first video watching my channel, hi. I'm Dry Crunch, and I'll probably do an update video to introduce you guys instead of the first update. Because holy fucking shit, that's just a rage fin of fucking Coppa. Uh... You know, and I was still in college back then, so, uh, yes, I fucking quit college, because it's stressful as shit, and it was not for me, fams. It was not for me. I could not do- I dealt with 13 years of education, I think I don't need to deal with, like, four more. If I did four more, I probably would have fucking lost it. Like, to be honest, I think I would just be a grump. I already enjoy the job I have right now, and slowly I'm getting into a better thing where I might become a chef. I don't care about doing dishes. I mean, hell, I barely do them here, but I'm trying. I actually did them this morning before I fucking recorded, which I was actually proud of myself for once. That, hey, oh my god, I actually did my chores when I fucking woke the hell up. Holy shit. Like, you take a shower? 
Yeah, yesterday. Okay. Don't worry, I fucking take care of myself. Don't worry, guys. Uh. So again, I probably won't be doing a Let's Play until most of these games are done. That's just how I work. I want you guys to have the Let's Play. I want you guys to fucking watch it. And have it sit in for a while. But if you're new and just watch it later, that's okay. You guys should just try to watch all my stuff. It's not... All of it's not perfect, okay? Most of it's not perfect, but I'm not gonna rush shit out like crazy. Even though it looks like it, sometimes the game's just way too fucking long, and I need to find a way to be able to fucking make it moving. Because I have other games I want to play. Like, so fucking many. So many games. But if I am going to do that, guys, I'm going to have to do a fucking schedule where I play this game that day or this game that day, which is probably might be a situation where it might happen. So bear in mind, people, when Dragon Quest does return, it's probably going to be on Saturday, Sundays through fucking Wednesdays because that game is long as shit and I can't trust myself to play that game on my work days. I just can't. So I'm probably playing a smaller game like Pukuniku or Ninjala or the continuation of Animal Crossing. Fucking whatever. I don't know when Dragon Quest is going to return. I'll return to it when I feel like I need to. Oh, we're in the top 20. Well, I have nothing else better to do, so I'm going to just keep fucking talking because I feel like in a talk talking move, why not? I'll keep doing more Pokemon battles, it's fine. Uh. Shut up! Fucking people outside, we have to keep our. Shut the window! Shut the window then, Zach. No, we need the window open because you're gonna fucking complain about it being hot, so keep the window open. I don't fucking care. Hold on, guys. There. It's gonna make a little bit of weird background noise, but I just don't give a shit anymore. If he's just gonna keep playing about being hot, and I'll just put it on. I thought you were fucking hot. So I'm not allowed to complain about anything? No, it's just... I want to make it more convenient for you so you're not fucking hot. So I turned the fan on. Oh, shit. This is what I hate about AI sometimes. It's like, if you're gonna kill me, just fucking kill me. But then it's like, oh, I'm just gonna sit around and be stupid. And then kills me. I feel like I'm getting Venosed every single time. With some AI in some games. It's just stupid. and pisses me off. Like this game for some cases. It does have some AI, which, yes, is really tough. But... Should it be tough? Because, you know, some people are actually better than me in games. And if you want to see those better people, I can recommend a few names. The Innocent Sinful. Japan Commercial. Chugga Conroy. And then Capri Sun. Proton John. The list can go fucking on. They're way better guys than me. They have done the, all the, most of the games to the endings. And they probably are better gamers than I am. But I still want to try play games for you guys, because you guys actually like like me. You actually like my personality, which is fucking weird. It's not a lot of people do. I'm just known to be a prone nice guy. That's all I am. Well, in video games, is an entirely different beast. Ah, oh, cool. So you're just gonna kill me again? 
Yep, you're gonna kill me again. Cool, I'll just take the L. Or not. Cool, thanks, game. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next part. Later. Stay quick.